everybody. I just thought this might be the easiest way to share the survey results from our parent survey on learning from home. Having to adjust to learning and working from home came as a bit of a shock to all of us. We weren't really ready for it, but it is amazing how well we've adjusted. We, I mean all of us, parents working from home, parents who are trying to balance going out to work and childcare along with learning at the same time. It's not easy and it's not perfect. We're not going to manage to recreate the school setting in the home. In an ideal world, it looks like this. The teacher sits quietly in a calm space and sends out work for all the children sitting waiting to absorb it. But in reality, the teacher's juggling a million other things, as are each of the children, families and households at the same time. Brings us to our next message. The cram and cares, the health and well-being of all our staff, pupils, children, families was our absolute priority. And as you know, we started from where we were at. We started using learning journals because we were used to it and we could launch learning straight away. We've now moved on towards using Teams because we know we need to change things for the future. We just don't know what it's going to look like in August and for the next wee while, but we know that we're going to work with you and together we will get through this. Planning is essential and we've had a clear plan from the start that we've amended and adapted as we've taken on your feedback and keep in looking ahead whilst managing to deliver what we need to do in the day to day. In our survey we had 174 responses which is fantastic. That's roughly 50% of our families and as you can see it's spread equally across all the stages in our school. This response shows that we're correct in thinking that digital technology is a really key driver in our improvement priority to look at how we use learning moving forward. So digital is going to be our core platform and all our children have access to at least a shared device. To be realistic though, in terms of how long children have access to devices and also what we're now finding is can those devices support the platforms we need to do. I know that Scottish Government and I'm hoping Edinburgh Council are also going to be looking at the equity of this as to how do we ensure all our learners have a device for use at home and in school with our new blended learning model. From the people who responded to our survey, you can see the range of desktops and laptops or iPads that are being used as devices. Predominantly, we're looking at laptop desktops and tablet forms. We want to continue our eco-friendly status, so we do want to try and limit us having to have parents print stuff off. We are getting better at this and it will be a key priority moving forward into August, where children will be able to use digital ink in order to upload worksheets etc to save on printing costs and the eco environment aspect. Fabulous response and uptake on learning journals. We had a huge steep trajectory of people taking up learning journals offer that had been available since August but come March we had almost 100% uptake very quickly. See from this chart just how useful people are finding learning journals as a means of sharing learning and communication. We are aware of the frustrations that the platform which was never designed to host learning from home has been but it was a very good starting point for us and obviously most parents have found it useful. Percentage again have found it really easy to use learning journals. You can see from this chart that Learning journals followed closely by group call emails along with the school app is a good source of information. We do have a number of channels and there are duplications of it, but the reason we have the different channels is each of them do form a slightly different purpose. If you've not checked out the school app yet, the documents files are excellent because they are full of all the information you might need to look back on without having to scroll back through messages. The search button will also help you find what you need in the school app. People seem to feel very comfortable using our resources and apps, but there are supports available Ms. Snime has created, including small video clips and help sheets. Once they've been sent out by group call, they're also downloaded onto the app. Lighted with our average 4.3 um, rating, we have taken on responses and I have collated and, and um, Mrs Fortune very kindly anonymised the responses in order that we can share them with you, the good and the bad. Um, we do take on every feedback and try to give people what they want. What I would say is that we have to be realistic. I know I am the greatest tech fan ever and I know what the potential of these technical tools are. However, our priority had to be health and well-being of everyone at the start of this pandemic that none of us could have predicted. What we're now looking at is how do we build from this fantastic platform that we started at? And I'm really excited about where we're going to go with learning moving forward. Teams is absolutely going to be our platform, but it's not going to be our only stage for learning. We're really looking forward to using more of the Oxford Devils reading, the My Maths and New 
Unicorn Maths that's linked to Oxford Owls, along with First News for Literacy, increasing work on Sumdog, along with the core learning which will take place away from a screen. We're so grateful you've come on this journey with us and I know we had no choice but to get on board this bus, but what we're doing is listening to you, moving forward and looking forward to see what the future brings. So we are looking at our Learn Anywhere model along with the rest of the city as we find out more details about what learning is going to look like come August. I know you're going to have loads of questions, so do I. We will get there together and we will get there for the best interests of all our children with health, safety, learning and well-being at the centre of all we do. Thank you for your support, for your patience, for your flexibility and for your understanding. This is a whole new world we've all found ourselves in. Now in my family, we go through every emotions almost every day. We just need to be kind to each other. We need to take a deep breath sometimes. We need to not criticise and realise that all of us are adjusting to things we didn't think we'd ever have to face. But as long as we've got our health and we've got each other and we know that we can support each other and move forward, we'll all get there. Take care of yourselves and just remember that Cramond really does care.